place. Now they have a website, they have books, they have uh, magazine, foreign affairs. Uh, when you go to this type of material, they they generally give you a disclaimer that, well, we're not officially involved in the government and we don't have any say in what the government does, but it's real strange that a lot of the policies that, that ferment within their discussion groups and with their study groups actually become government policy years later. And uh, it, when you begin to realize how, how they work, and uh, then, then you have in your mindset, it's almost like you can't trust anyone. And basically, when it, you know, when it comes to certain aspects of what they have control over, you have to take everything with a grain of salt. You just can't take it for granted that your government is telling you the truth. And, you know, I want to say that not all government is bad. And I'm not going to say that we, we live in the greatest country in the world. You know, I'm not anti-government, but we have uh, what began as pockets within the government that has graduated into groups within the government that are working behind the scenes to, to do things that are contrary to the to the, the country that we you know was established here. Uh, in the Council of Foreign Relations, you have various people who were either past or present members. Uh, Tom Brokaw, Bill Moyers, John Chancellor, Irving Levine from NBC, uh, Rune Artledge, David Brinkley, Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer. Saw the interview with Mel Gibson. Maybe you kind of wonder why she took the slant that she did, which she's a member of the Council of Foreign Relations. Uh, George Stephanopoulos, who was involved in the Carter administration, ABC. Uh, William Paley, Dan Rather, uh, Henry, uh, Harry Reisner, Martin Ka Marvin Kalb, John Scally, Daniel Shore with CBS. Uh, William Buckley, Robert McNeil, Jim Lehrer, Hot and Carter III, also involved in the Carter administration, PBS. So, so you can see we have some major heavy hitters in the media that are presenting as talking heads the news every day and people are listening people are buying it I, it's unbelievable walter cronkite who was like one of the most trusted people in america is is for one world government i mean he has said so and so the the people that uh the people that you see on tv that you may re, may respect you know if they're members of these organizations they have an underlying goal to manipulate the media to coincide with the goals of the groups they belong to uh, newspapers that uh, that present their views: New York Times, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, Boston Globe, Baltimore Sun, Chicago Sun Times, L.A. Times Syndicate, Houston Post, Minneapolis Star and Tribune, Des Moines Register and Tribune, uh, some of the newspapers and news services, Associated Press, United Press International, Reuters News Service, uh, Arkansas Gazette, Louisville Courier, and USA Today. Louis, uh, USA Today, which is owned by the the Gannett Company has great influence over this country because they not only have USA Today, they have many other smaller papers and many other media sources. As with, with some of these, uh, obviously, New York Times and Washington Post, their stories are picked up by other local papers, as is Associ the Associated Press and the UPI. So there's a, these are major sources of news that other local sources pick up, and so you can see where the news that they present are passed on down the line. Magazines, Time, Fortune, Life, Money, People, Entertainment Weekly, Sports Illustrated, U.S. News and World Report, Saturday Review, Newsweek, National Review, Reader's Digest, Business Week, Atlantic Monthly, McCall's, Forbes, Look, Harper's Magazine. These are, uh, these are sources where the editors and people in major control of the editorial content are people who belong to the Council on Foreign Relations. And when they're having big editorial meetings, and when they, when they take the angles on the news, Things are discussed that we have to manip manipulate things this way. We have to we have to look at it this way, and they they alter and manipulate the news to present it in a way that is probably completely contrary to what the actual events are. David Rockefeller said in 1991, "We are grateful to the Washington Post, the New York Times, Time Magazine, and other great publications whose directors have attended our meetings and respected their promises of discretion for almost 40 years." It would have been impossible for us to develop our plan for the world if we had been subject to the bright lights of publicity during these years. But the world is now more sophisticated and prepared to march towards a world government. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers is surely preferable to the national auto-determination practice in past centuries. So obviously the, the, the names of the media people who we just went through, they are invited to their meetings and they don't say anything. They know there are things discussed at these meetings that don't get out in the media. And uh, when they actually have these meetings, they actually 
Uh, they have a security people that come in vans, clear places out. Sometimes they have meetings at other hotels that sweep for bugs, and, and they clear out whole floors. And that, that they do a lot of stuff so people don't find out what's discussed in their meetings. So here we have media people who a lot of people trust that they see every night in the news that they're, they're friends. You're friends with that guy that's telling you the news on TV. You, you feel like you could trust him. But they've been to these meetings. They know exactly what's going on. And they could tell you line upon line exactly what's going on. But they don't because they agree with the goals of the organizations they belong to.